What's happening YouTube? Thanks for tuning back into the channel today. We've got something really special for you. We've got a one piece drive shaft conversion going on for the Duramax. It's kind of put in con conjunction with the Kodiak driveline, the new transfer case that uh, Mark over here is gonna be rebuilding for us, but we wanted to go one step further and be able to do a one piece drive shaft for my LBZ. As you know, the quad cab long beds, they've got the annoying two piece drive shaft. And two piece drive shafts just in general are just more failure points. More moving parts means more failure points. They've got smaller U joints, they've got slip joints. So we're gonna be doing the upgrade today. Make sure you guys keep watching. So here she is up on the rack again, and no, nothing is broken, of course. As I said before, we are getting rid of that ugly two-piece drive shaft there. We've got a uh, nice one that we are gonna upfit and make work for our application. I'll go through the details of that when we get to it. So we got the old drive shaft out of here. This is the old two-piece drive shaft here. And then the new one-piece one that we picked up from GM, this thing is monstrous, guys. I'm talking like we're, we're a good two and a half inches wider in diameter, and it's gonna be a lot lighter, a full aluminum setup. This thing is a killer setup. So we're gonna look through this one. It's gonna be slightly different on length, but we're gonna make up for it with our yoke and other setups here. I think it'll turn out really good, and we'll see what we can do with it. So we've got the bracket cut out that originally housed our center support bearing. That's now out. Um, so when, when we were looking into doing this one piece drive shaft in the first place, what kind of measurements were we looking at in the difference between the stock unit and this new aluminum housing? Sure, so what we wanted to maintain is the slip yoke that came out of the back of the case. We wanted somewhere around two to two and a half, maybe three inches tops of, uh, of the yoke hanging out the back. We didn't, we, you can't have the yoke all the way buried in. So we basically measured from center of the U-joint to center of the U-joint on the factory shaft and determined that the one that we got from the uh, uh, L5P trucks and even the, the late LMLs will, will definitely work. So as far as when you're going to be ordering one of these one-piece drive shafts, what are we looking to order? Yeah, you're looking to order from like a 2015 and newer four door long bed dually. And that's gonna come with the one piece drive shaft and everything. Now as far as, so we're looking at the correct length. Now what is the other thing that we're gonna to have to swap over? Sure, then you're gonna to have to swap your yoke over because all those trucks are in 1480 U-joints. So we've swapped the yoke over. So we got the 1480 yoke now. We use the GM yoke with a new pinion seal, washer, everything's Loctited. Where are you Not ordering this one deal. from? Um, this comes straight from General Motors. Uh, what what year model um, do you think? You can order anything from a one to seven with a ZF6 truck transmission because they were all the manual transmissions had 1480 joints in them. So just with the larger U joints, we're going Correct. same width and everything, just larger U joint Increased availability to yeah. it. So everything else is gonna match up perfectly to that. Everything on the front spline there at the transfer case, it's gonna be all spline the exact same on that one. It's all gonna match up correctly. So let's get this thing slopped up in here and we're gonna see where we're actually looking at. That's good. 
So he was looking at, the only other thing you're gonna have to look at ordering is the new straps for also the 1480 rear U joints as well. We don't have to worry about it because there's a few parts around in this area. He's got parts and parts and parts and parts and transfer cases and parts and parts. Yep, we're good to go. So drive shaft all into place. You can see out of our like roughly six and a half to seven inch yoke, we've got about two and a half, two and three quarter inches hanging out, which is fantastic with the actual uh, rear end travel that we've got into it. Earlier on the other two piece drive shaft, we were having issues going through rear seals on the transfer case because that rear drive shaft was actually hitting into that seal. Not gonna have that issue anymore. We jacked up the rear end and even with the rear end jacked up and the suspension at full travel, we've still got three and a quarter to three and a half inches of yoke actually engaged in the spline. So that is more than enough for what we're looking at. And this thing is just a big old beast. Sexy. That is all standard drive shaft there for you. But it's a bunch of sexy drive shaft. So hopefully this kind of build is gonna be something that you guys look into. Uh, if you have a quad cab long bed LBZ, LLY classic body style, the sizes of this drive shaft is gonna match up to what you need. It's gonna give you guys uh, more dependability. It's gonna be a lighter drive line in general, uh, bigger U joints, and just a better overall drive line in general. So again, I will leave the link in the description down below to all of the stuff that I ended up using. I'll try to find those in the part numbers through GM, but if not, again, earlier in the video I said what they went to and you'd be able to go to GM and get a hold of them to be able to find any of those parts. Thanks to Mark again over at Kodiak Driveline for hooking us up and being able to get us some awesome footage today. Make sure you stay tuned for more to come on this. Thanks, and as always, you guys stay awesome.